So in the last episode, we have moved from sending a mailable to sending a mail via notification. And in this notification, we have uh, all these things like uh, via and OTP. We are going to send an actual OTP via SMS. So if I go to my Chrome and try to log in, first thing I can see, I don't have any default selection. So user can just type password and email and click on login without giving these details. So let's just fix this. So here I will firstly go to login.blade and here we need to say like this input box having um, checked. So checked is true. So if I go refresh this page, yes, now email is checked, but now there is no way user can remove these things because it's a radio button. So this is good. And now next part is that let's try to log in and send OTP via SMS. So let's see what will be the result. It's taking time. This looks like something weird thing because sending SMS not take time. But problem is that it is still sending email. We have selected the uh, SMS, but it's sending email. Why? Because here in our notification, if we scroll down, you can see we are checking for OTP instead of we have to check for via. So now if we check this, this will going to work. Let's now go to login and try to login again. And behind the scene, I have changed the number. So now we can easily send the SMS. So let's try and see the result and via SMS login. And it's I think we don't have email. This means we probably get the SMS and you can see the OTP is here. And now if I open my phone, you can see actually the OTP is this. So 960403. So 960403 and verify. And yes, we are logged in. This is because in the last episode when we have written tests, we have migrated for uh, the notification we have changed the message content and that message content is here it says your otp for login is the otp we send via sms so this is very easy we have done that that means we can send as uh, otp via sms or via email but the problem is here you can see we are still defining two we don't have to define here so this uh, the channel or uh, I have created notification channel I have created which is uh, Kerex channel is having this functionality that if you provide this to method then it will get this number otherwise what you can do you can do this thing that on your user model instead of returning email you can just return the phone number and obviously for that you need a column a phone column on your user table. So let's now go to the SQL Pro and user table. And here I will create a new field called phone. And this has to be varkar. Why? Because I want this to be what happened. Uh, let's see. I think I need to give the uh, phone and then varkar and then length. So length I need to give. Okay. So this means because here on the phone, I need to give the exact phone number with the country code that means I want plus sign to be here. If you don't want to do this, you need to manually add plus sign while using this Carex SMS API and for other APIs like for Nexmo, for Twilio, you probably have to check what they are, they are doing. Some SMS provider doesn't include plus sign. They said, okay, if you give the old number just with the uh, country code, I will take that and will take care about the uh, plus sign. Some says you need to add the plus. So Carex says you need to ex you need to give the exact number. So exact number I will give here. So the number I have already given here on the table I have. So I'm returning that number here. And this means if I go here, I don't need to give this to method here and if I don't give this it will take the number which we have given here and if you want to give the number here that's your choice you can give here also but this is good to have the number from the, your database and this means now 
we can send sms again so let's try that and for that let's go to the chrome and here let's log out here and log in once more so login and credentials and send via sms and we probably get the sms on my phone so let's open the phone here and you can see we have a new otp 898900 so 898900 verify otp and boom we are logged in so this is very 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 nice we have successfully done all these things and this means now we can move to the last and very important part of resending the otp either via sms or via uh, email so this is because sometime what happened the email doesn't uh, received by the user or maybe the sms doesn't received by the user so at that point here we need a one more button to resend so because i have logged in i have one more otp here but now we need that so that will that we will do in the next episode and if you have liked these episode like these series and then just go and subscribe to this channel if you have not already done that and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification you can also follow me on facebook twitter and instagram then you can share these videos and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye